Hey there, so now it's time to learn to do standard form, but with numbers that are smaller than one. And this is a little bit more complicated than with numbers that are bigger, but not a lot. So remember that when you have things like this, like 0 0.00034, this is the same as saying 34 divided by some number. And this number would be, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a 1 and 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, of course, we don't want to write that all the time because it's a pain. And especially when you have like 9 zeros, it's really, really boring to count zeros. So we use standard form. And remember that this is the same as saying 34 divided by 10 to the 5. But we just learned before, when we were learning about negative powers, that 34 divided by 10 to the 5 is the same as saying 34 times 10 to the minus 5, because 10 to the minus 5 just means 1 divided by 10 to the 5. It's exactly the same thing. There is no difference whatsoever. Now, normally, we don't use 34. Remember, what, what we usually do is we use the first number, point, and then second number, and then whatever. So in this case, really the standard form answer wouldn't be 34 times 10 to the minus 5. We would just go until we have found the first digit. So we want to have 1, 2, 3, 4. So really, 0 0.00034 is the same as saying 3.4 times 10 to the minus 4. So the basic idea is that you always have to have one number here followed by a comma and then whatever you want here. And this number here has to be a non-zero number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until 9. That's pretty much it. So again, let's just make this very systematic. I have a number here. I want to turn it into standard form. I see how many times I have to run the, the comma. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the 4 that goes here. And then all that's left is first number, comma, whatever comes after, times 10 to the number that I had. Let's do a couple of examples, just to make sure we got this. So for example, I get 0 0.0723, or I get 0 0.2, or I get 0 0.0000. 0, 5, 0, 2. Okay, let's try that out. Now for this one, again, I need to stop always after the first number. So 1, 2. So it's going to be 7.23 because I always need to start with the first number that's not 0 and then times 10 to the minus 2. 10 to the minus 2 because it's 1, 2. Okay, next one. Well, in this case, of course, it's just 2. And then I have to do this once. So 10 to the minus 1. OK. And finally, this one, of course, I need to start with the 5, comma, 0, 2. 5.02. And then let's just count the number of times that I have to run the comma. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 10 to the minus 6. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Now you try.